Celebrity Huey Lewis and big celebrity surprises later tonight. Don't move. Give me your wallets, phones, everything. I said get out your wallet. Come on, man. Just do what he says. Please. 20-year-old female single gunshot wound to the abdomen. What the hell is he doing here? Sean, are you all right? This is all his fault. Please, I don't want to talk to you. The Good Doctor, all new next Monday, 10, 9 central on ABC. Well, hi, everyone. Another cloudy night out there. No surprise there, right? Well, we're going to wake up to clouds tomorrow. The temperatures are not going to be falling, though. They're going to be steady or rising. 43 the temperature's actually gone up one degree, and I think we'll continue to do that heading into tomorrow. Checking out the forecast here. Temperatures will be uh, going in about 47 by tomorrow morning, and it'll be a mainly dry day except for maybe a little bit of drizzle. Most of the rain comes in tomorrow night, but 50 sound pretty good. I've got warmer temperatures in the forecast, though, coming up. Also ahead, a disturbing case out of Kellogg tonight. An arrow shot right through this dog. We talked to his owner tonight while they're still searching for whoever did this. We are Iowa. Welcome to Local 5 News, home of WeAreIowa.com. I'm Stephanie Engelson. And I'm Jack Miller. Thanks for joining us tonight. New tonight at 10, a family dog shot with an arrow. We do want to warn you, some of these pictures could be upsetting. This is Scooby, and you can see he was shot through and through with an arrow over the weekend. He lives just outside of Kellogg. The Scooby's still recovering at the vet, and it's left his owners with a huge bill. Yeah, and Local 5's Rafael Lopez talked to that family tonight. He's here with the latest. Jack Stephanie Worrell tells me that Scooby was running around the property. Minutes later, he disappeared, but what but was later found under the home patio. What Worrell never imagined was finding his precious dog covered in blood. He is such a happy-go-lucky, really great personality. Andrew Worrell can't help but smirk as he remembers his best friend, Scooby. But behind his cheerful smile lies heartache. His 11-month puppy was shot by an arrow. We're Scooby, so I'm calling him, and I didn't see him. I mean, maybe he's back at my neighbor's place, or I didn't know where he was. In the frenzy, Scooby was found underneath the home patio. I walked over. I looked under. the under. I saw him there, and he looked scared. He, he looked like something's wrong. He came towards me enough where I could get my finger on his collar, and I let him out. And when I did, I saw the arrow sticking out of his, his chest. Vets say Scooby suffered a punctured lung, stomach, and inflamed bowel. I didn't really think too much other than you got to get him help. So I picked him up, which was hard to do with an arrow sticking through him. Um, I didn't want to hurt him worse than he was already hurt. So anyway, I got him in my truck and I took him to the Des Moines Animal Hospital. The puppy had the freedom of running around acres of land, his training a work in progress. Scooby took advantage of that on Sunday, where Ralph thinks since much of the land is used for hunting, this was targeted. Whoever shot him was either laying down on the ground or sitting because the arrow was almost straight going into his chest. Now the dog is maybe 20 inches off the ground, that part of him. So that arrow had to come from a very low angle. While there's more questions than answers right now, Worrell has a message for whoever did this. I'm not looking for vengeance. Um, I'd like to know why you shot my dog. Now, Morell tells me that Scooby is still being treated at a pet hospital in Des Moines. There is no word on when he will be back home. Morell hopes whoever shot his little baby comes forward. Live in the studio, Rafael Lopez, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. Rafael, thank you. Jasper County deputies are interviewing neighbors in the area to see if anyone saw anything. In the meantime, Morell says he has set up a GoFundMe page to pay for the medical expenses. You can find a link to that on our website, weareiowa.com. Here's the crazy.